Hello Aries and welcome to your reading. This is for Aries. This resonates with you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aries, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Aries out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however, it resonates with you. This is for Aries. This is for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Okay. There you are. Okay, so it's almost, it's like the right time for someone to come forward. Someone that you felt maybe rejected by or you rejected them. I feel strongly that you felt rejected by them when they do come forward Aries um, they're going to be very genuine um, there's been some time to really think about things and I feel like that's why this Knight of Pentacles is here you know he he doesn't he doesn't move so I feel forward movement in what was a very tricky situation that's what I want to say um, didn't it did not go well so before we dive too deep into the love reading um, I will be reading career and then after career we will be pulling you an oracle card and seeing what the universe wants to say so whatever went down here between you and this person we have the seven of swords here um, few things with this card. I feel like there was a, I want to say a lot of gossip around this, a lot of lies around this, uh, a lot of bad intention around this entire situation. You're going to see a completely different person when they come forward. There's a very genuine exchange that they, that they want, like an olive branch that they want to give to you if you are willing to accept it. Some of you will, some of you won't, but it is time, they feel like it's time to try to mend that, right? Try to talk to you and make it up to you. Um, Seven of Swords here. So, it, this has been a long time brewing, and I'll tell you why. we got the King of Swords here. We've got the Queen of Swords here. So, it's, it's just like you went, like, stalemate, silence. Where there was once lots and lots of talking, because these two like to talk. And there was silence. So they are essentially going to try to break that, break the silence in a very genuine way. They think about you a lot. But they took a hard stance and you took a hard stance. Very close connection with the masculine and the feminine of the same suit coming out, right? It was a very close connection. Um, some of you may say past life, soulmate, the whole thing. And so much talking, <laughs> right? Um really getting along kind of on the same level but something went down here and you felt rejected by this particular individual and now they're coming back around to break the silence and you're going to have a decision on with or without them right so it's like there's still hidden emotions that need to be discussed 
if you're willing to discuss it. But there was a lot of things hidden here. There was a lot of lies. There was a lot of illusion. Um, I feel at the end of the day, you're, you're going to get the clarity that you need. And you're going to realize just how much control you have of the situation. So it's like you felt rejected by this person. You thought they had control. And when they come back, you're going to have control. You can be dealing with a Pisces or somebody with Pisces in their chart. A lot of hurt here. Maybe some betrayal, but it was was very hurtful how they treated you right it could have been some gossiping they could have been talking shit um information uh some information could have come out they genuinely feel bad for how things ended but that doesn't necessarily mean that number one you're going to talk to them number two it will ever be the same again, but it can be healed if you want it. Ten of Swords here. So, big decision when they do come forward, right? Judgment Day is here. And it needs to be here. So, it's been a long time coming right this horse doesn't move but they are carrying with it an offering so knight of pentacles here do you even care to see it to hear it there's a lot of validation that goes along with this it is very real it is very genuine um whatever's going on with this person I feel like they have realized they made some bad, bad decisions. Um, we got the Four of Cups here, but it may not it may not matter to you. So nobody was moving, right? Nobody was moving. They weren't moving. You weren't moving. It was a total standoff. Who's going to break the silence? It's going to be them. All right. And you're going to have to have strength, but they're going to have to have courage to be able to do this, to kind of swallow their pride and say, hey, Aries, I was an idiot. Right. You could be dealing with a Leo. So with or without them, you're the one that's in control. Not only are you in control of your chariot, right? The chariot represents our life and you can go left, you can go right, you can go with them, you can move on without them. Maybe some of you have already moved on and don't even care to look back and you know, that's up to you because you are in the you position. Aries energy, Cancerian energy. Um, you're in control here. Where once you didn't think you really had it, now you've got it. So huge validation for you. They were wrong. And they're going to tell you that they were wrong. We talked about the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So lots to think about. I'm not sure if they'll change your your minds. But, and you know, was this a, a break in the relationship? Or... Are you really, really done with this particular person? Four of Swords. There can be healing. This person feels like the time is right. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. Do you want to heal the situation? Maybe. But that, you know, doesn't necessarily mean that the relationship will ever be the same dynamic again, right? Please clarify the star card for Aries. This is for Aries. What does Aries need to know? So, maybe a little too late by the looks of things, right? 
So there's like a lot of people. That's what I'm going to say gossip. Like a lot of people. See all the naysayers here. You're standing your ground. And they may walk away empty handed here. Very difficult situation. So it's kind of like thanks for the validation. Thanks for the healing. But mm, you may have already changed your mind about this person. Like it's total, you see them in a different light. Of course up to you at the end of the day. So in regards to your career, I see that there is an opportunity here, right here. There's an opportunity here that's almost going to save you. You see that angel there? That's, it's almost going to save you because I see you being very, very stuck with very, very difficult energy that just is full of illusion and it's time for it to end full of lies and illusion wherever this was or is that you're working at you felt really really stuck in that you're going to be able to walk away and release it and just it, you're kind of saying you're you're bored it's just too much and you're just this opportunity is literally going to pull you out of a very difficult situation. It's going to be put on your path and you're going to take it. Your victory is forward. Some of you may be traveling for this opportunity. You're going to need courage. You can do this. Whatever this opportunity is, you can do this because guess what? You are Aries. And you are very smart, embracing that Queen of Swords energy. And you may take a moment between. Again, it's going to be a lot to think about, but you may take a moment between to take a step back, maybe take a week, take a breather, and just kind of prepare for this new situation that has been just kind of there. It's just there all of a sudden. And... It's what's meant to be. So this is essentially saying kind of keep fighting the good fight. Help, it's on the, help is on the way. Right? We got the warrior's pose. Help is on the way. Right? To get you out like away from nasty people. And a very boring trap situation. That's what I'm seeing here. All right, this is for Aries. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? We have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. And yeah. You got to get away from some pretty heavy energy, but I feel like you're definitely moving on to bigger and better things. When this, in regards to your love life, when this person comes back around, finally wanting to make an offering to you, it is genuine, it is sincere, but I think you're going to be like, ha, <laughs> told you so. I knew they would be back. Right? And maybe you let this person back into your space. Maybe you don't. But the validation is real. In regards to a very heavy, boring, and trapped, suffocating work environment, help is on the way. Okay? And when it shows up, It almost releases all of this heavy energy from you and it, it feels like it's going to be a reason to celebrate, right? So don't give up. Better days are ahead. And, you know, some of the experiences that you've had, 
in this in this work environment, you're going to look back and be like, holy shit, right? All right, Aries, that's what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless.